Uh, this is a new item that I have received. Let us open and see. You know, I don't know. You already have read the title. At this moment, I don't know what is inside it. So you are ahead of me. Okay, let's see what is inside. Okay, there is a packaging and some uh, fillers. Let me just remove this. Okay, I removed it. Now let's see what is inside. Is there anything else? Oh, more packaging. Goes inside there. I'll put it apart. What is this? It is written Hyperion. Oh, it's a butter. Butter Planetarium Hyperion 824 millimeter Universal Zoom Mark 4. Oh, that's the Mark 4 one. Let's open and see. This is the best zoom we can get. Okay, let's see what is here. Hmm. Father Hyperion Mark 4. That's the latest zoom from the Father Planetarium. Okay, let's see what is written here. Projection photography also it can be used and. Uh, Specifications, Butter Planetarium Hyperion Registered Trademark, Trademark, 8 to 24 millimeter Universal Zoom Mark IV, that's 4, with click stop action, 2 inch and 1 and a quarter, nose piece included. So, and these are the things you can do, you can use it with the, you can use it with the spotting scope or telescopes, in the case, case you are showing with the SCT also you can use it directly on the camera so rubber eye guards, foldable eye guards and other things okay let's see what is inside and open what? oh let me see what is inside with a uh, soft pouch with belt strap, foldable eye cup winged rubber eye cup, large adjustable eye cup, M43 photo video thread uh, 138 thread uh, B a B adapter for telescopes. No speed one and a quarter. That's one and one point three eighth of an inch thread. Thread for Hyperion Barlow, two inch SC Schmidt Cassegrain thread. One uh, A adapter for spotinoscope. No speed two inch, and all the threads and everything. Okay, let's see what is inside. Ooh, look at this. Mm, what are included here? What we can find here? Okay, uh, one eye guard, one cap, another cap, a winged eye guard, and here we have a Coach that is typical of the butter, really nice gesture. And this is the eyepiece itself. Oh, it's quite large. Look at it. It's very huge. It's massive. So there is one cap here which I remove now. There is another cap here which I remove now. And there is another cap on this side, which I remove. I have to remove the sleeve, two inch sleeve. Okay, this is the two inch sleeve. I remove it. This is the um, one and a quarter lens cap side. You can see through the lens. And let's turn it over. Oh, beautiful lens. It's a bit dirty, but I have to. Uh huh. You can. Bring it up and down, and you can change the you feel a gentle click top click up. You can hear it? Yeah, that's the one. And nice, I just take a few photos of it.
let's look through it to some okay let's look through it uh -huh, nice clear view and this is now at the yes yes what now at 24 i change it now to eight This is the Bayer Hyperion Universal Zoom 8.24 mm Mark IV eyepiece. Let's go and see how it looks, the view through the eyepiece. This is the 24 mm focal length of the Bayer Hyperion Mark IV eyepiece. The image quality is excellent. And it's so easy to hold the camera because there is no blackout or anything. Now let me go to the another setting. Now we are looking at the 8mm setup. The focus is a little bit inside, so you have to, it's not part of focal, you have to change the focus a little bit slightly, not much, it's easy to do it. But the image quality is excellent, superb. I think anybody who wants to do binary viewing, this is really good for binary viewing. Get two of these and just do binary viewing with it. Clear. Now I've changed the focus to 16 millimeter and as you can see it's really excellent. The view is really nice. It replaces many of your eyepieces actually. This is daylight observation and I think I'm really impressed with the quality. And that was the view to the Bader Hyperion Zoom Mark IV 8-24mm eyepiece. The telescope is my uh, trusted and lovely teles uh, EDAT Skywatcher uh, EDAT Pro Series Gold version and it's a uh, they call it semi apple but I think this is apple practically. And uh, yeah, nice, excellent views. What you were seeing were these tiny fruits on this tree. And if I go back, zoom back again, you will see how tiny they are. Yeah. Is around 15, 20, uh, 10 meter, 12 meter away. Um, I'm really impressed. Uh, this is good, and uh, the good thing about this eyepiece is that two of these eyepieces, if you put them side by side, they will not be bigger than this. Uh, that is the fitting for most of the people's face and the distance between their eyes. And you can easily have your nose or bridge of your nose here somewhere. So it will not bother you at all. At the same time, you can just seamlessly change the zoom from 8 to 24 and have the observation with the binary viewer like that. Field of view is excellent. I really like the field of view of this. I have to study what's the field of view, but anyway.